morning friends my name is Elliot and I'm bored in quarantine so I'm gonna do a walk around tour of my M101 A3 overlanding camping off-roading trailer rig so check it out all right I'm gonna just walk around and uh, talk about the quirks and features of my particular trailer. Um, total cost around four grand. Uh, I don't know if that's budget, but that was buying uh, bits and pieces over the course of about two years, and we ended up around four G's. So, um, like I said, it's an M101 A3, uh, which is on the lighter side of the military trailers. I think it comes in at around uh, 1,500 pounds. Um, <clears throat> that was stock. Um, I've removed some parts, so it's probably closer to 1,200, maybe less. I've never, I have never weighed it, so I don't know. Um, so first thing is uh, when I purchased it, the guy I purchased it from had already removed the surge brake from the front um, and just welded on a, a plate and a receiver. Uh, and then uh, just stuck a the pintle hitch uh, ring it the pintle ring in there so that probably shaved uh, who knows maybe a hundred pounds um, I do not have any trailer brakes on this uh, on this trailer but it doesn't seem to be a problem it tows fine stops fine so not really an issue um, I did a uh, seven pin wiring harness on it it's uh, I got all this most of this stuff came off of um, off of Amazon so this is a it's called La Volta it's a seven pin wiring harness so uh, basically I did that I have um, turn signals brake lights reverse lights and uh, running lights so it's uh, pretty decent. It's a little wonky though because the um, the uh, I forget if it's like when you turn the sig like the turn signal and the brake lights don't work exactly. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not it's not perfect, but it does the job. Um, this was this. Uh, this little jack or front stand thing came with it. It's just a crank with a wheel on the front. It does the trick. Um, this is a, I don't know how many gallons? Maybe like a three gallon propane tank. And uh, the mount is a power tank. Uh, really nice mount, really well built, and that's just a uh, nice little propane to run my grill and heater and all that stuff. Um, overall, um, I, I had a buddy who has a, um, his family owns like a, they build municipal vehicles and stuff, so he actually has like paint and, uh, sandblasting and all that stuff so he actually did the whole he uh took the whole thing down to bare metal primed it painted it so the frame was all flat black and the uh tub is gloss white to match the uh the xterra which i tow it with um the it's a pro 4x 2011 uh 250 horsepower 5,000 pound toy capacity so no problem whatsoever towing this thing. Um, wheels and tires. Uh, this did come with military, the military wheels and tires. Um, <clears throat> but I, I wanted something to match my ride height of the truck, which I have 33s. Um, so I bought these. Uh, I don't know the lug. It's a, obviously an eight lug pattern. It's like seven, seven and a half or something like that. But basically you can get rims off of 
older Chevys, Dodges that match this pattern. Um, shaves a ton of weight. Uh, brings the height, the ride height down a little bit, which uh, just makes it just drive a whole lot better. Um, and I run these very, uh, you don't want to run full air pressure. I, I think I run like, I think I run these at like 20 pounds um, because obviously you're not carrying the weight of a whole vehicle. Um, these are <clears throat> two, 285, 75, R16, BFG. KO2s, and uh, I bought a set of four, sold two of them, or sold one of them, stuck two on here, and I have a spare that you'll see in the back. Um, I have a, a bear bottle opener for my beers. Alright, moving around to the back. I, uh, I put a spare tire mount on this. Um, it looks cool, but it's not super functional because it hangs way too much weight off the back of the trailer. If you know anything about towing, you want, uh, you want the weight more front loaded. And uh, the first time I took this out, I was get, it, was, uh, it was getting a little loosey-goosey on the highway. So uh, I'm probably going to move the tire mount this to the front. Um, all I did was I ordered a, it's just a bolt-on uh, hitch receiver from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. Um, the spare tire mount, I think it's a Kurt. Um, I have a, a, tight, a, a hitch tightener so it doesn't flop around as much. Uh, so, pretty straightforward. It, it's cool, but it doesn't. It does not uh, tow very well with this on the back if the weight's not distributed correctly, so i got to figure something out. Uh, I've got the Trasheroo. Um, these taillights are from Amazon. They're LEDs. Like I said, it's a uh, stop, turn, reverse. Um, but the turn, running lights, brake lights is a little wonky, but it does the job. My son put a bunch of stickers on there. Uh, what else do we got? Um, I took the all the hardware, um, took it off and repainted it. Going for like a black, red, white. Thought it looked pretty cool. Um, the tarp is a, it's just a custom, I think this is a, I think the bed's like 6x8. And I believe it's just tarps.com. Um, I ordered a custom tarp. Uh, I told them the measurement of the eyelets. It's a four inch overhang, and then you just buy buy bungee and uh this this particular trailer has a bunch of uh these hooks, so it's super secure keeps all the dirt off of your shit uh so that's pretty cool uh what else what else uh up top. I have a uh, Smittybilt Overlander XL. I got that on a sale for about 800 bucks, brand new, from uh, I think fourwheeldrive.com. Smoking deal. Great tent. It's obviously, uh, it's not super high quality uh, like some of the other ones, uh, it's like CBT, etc. But it does the job for me. I live in Arizona, so the weather is not uh, harsh or as harsh. So. Uh, Nice tent, entry level, tons of room. Uh, me, my wife, my son, my dog all fit up there very comfortably. Um, I'm gonna deploy the whole thing so you can see how it looks as well. So, um, what else, what else? Just some more. Um, I ordered these, these are fresh reflectors. I just ordered some new ones, painted them black. Um, got yellow on the side, reds on the back. These big hooks for whatever. Uh, what else? I got the ARB awning. It's the eight foot by eight foot version. It's uh, kind of we you know open the tarp on this side and I set up my kitchen underneath it. It's great. Um, the rack I had custom built by a guy on Craigslist. Just some some random dude. 
Uh, he did a decent job. Uh, I think the trailer was, or the the mount of uh, rack was um, seven or eight hundred bucks. Um, so it's uh, it's mounted here to the base, and then it's bolted to the to the lip here. So it's super sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Um, I just chose, I just went static because I didn't want to deal with, um, I just wanted to, this is a, this is a super simple build. Like I, there's no solar, there's no water, there's no battery set up, none of that shit. I don't really need it. I have a, um, I have a Jackery for power. I have water jugs, you know, so it's, a, it's just, it's just designed to be a super bare bones cargo mover. And uh, it works great, and it tows great, and that's it. So I'm, uh, I'll show you just inside the bed. All right, so this is the uh, tarp off inside of the bed. Um, I added just uh, this eyelet up here, uh, a couple carabiner hooks, chain, and the, and. Uh, it's just a nice, holds it up, I got it on both sides, just to keep the tailgate up, and the tailgate doesn't go down anyways because of the, uh, because of the hitch receiver, so, um, what else did I do? I did, uh, quick fist, quick fist, is that what it's called, quick fist? A couple quick fists on that side, shovel mount, quick fists on that side is my, uh, chopping axe and a smaller hatchet um, I did uh, four tie downs in each corner or four uh, one tie down in each corner four total these are uh, <clears throat> 6,000 6,000 rated 6,000 pounds in case I wanted to transport like a velociraptor or something so it's overkill but it's nice to have tie downs in the bed for whatever needs to be done. Um, and that's pretty much it for the basics. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just hit, drop them in the uh, comment section below and I will answer them for you. Uh, this is the pintle hitch that I use, uh, that I put on the truck. Um, I had a shorter one before. Um, I felt like the the trailer was riding uh, a little too tipped forward, um, and I got this one to to flatten it out a little bit. But I think that caused some towing issues. I think just having it tipped forward a little bit, maybe like a couple inches, helps um, with the stabilization. So I did have it at the higher things I dropped it down to here and uh, she tows fine right now so but I just want to show you what uh, what pintle hitch setup I was running another thing is um, I left the the stock axle um, I just didn't see the need to swap it out for my needs um, and it also has these our stock uh, hand brakes which is awesome so you just up is uh is for travel and then just you push them down to lock and there's one on each side so that's pretty cool keeps it keeps the trailer uh stationary i also use wheel chocks just for that and then uh this is the stock uh axle and i did add um, some shocks as well when I first started taking it out it was pretty bouncy with just the leaf springs so um, so it looks like those are KYB XLG shocks and they bolted right on so I can give you guys the part number if needed um, and then just another you can't really see it but uh, I wired there's LED lights under here uh, like LED string lights so I can illuminate 
uh, underneath the, the trailer. And there's also LED lights up underneath the rooftop tent. So I just attach those to like a battery or a power source and uh, I have lighting. So that's pretty cool. So here she is, fully deployed in all its glory. Um, the awning is great. It's a, uh, it's easier with two people, but just, you know, you can do it yourself. It's fine. Um, plenty of coverage, eight by eight, I believe. And uh, good quality, ARB. Um, the, this is the, uh, like I said, it's the Smitty Built Overlander XL. Uh, tons of room, but uh, just quality wise, I will say this is kind of like entry level, so don't expect anything uh, spectacular. A um, couple, th couple things with it. Um, the, I would just, when you, when you get it, just go through and check every single nut and bolt. Um, there's going to be loose stuff in here. So essentially, like this, this uh, little bracket that holds this um, this bar for the awning. Uh, these bolts will, are come loose, and then the screws holding it to the platform come loose. So I had to fix and tighten those. Another thing too with this bar. Like when you stow the bar inside the tent, um, I had the I had it um, slip down and fall into this crack when I was opening it, and it bent the shit out of it and basically kind of messed it all up. You can see like it bent it here, the other side's bent a little bit, I, and I had to take a uh, angle grinder, trim the ends off, and get it fixed again, but. Um, yeah, other than that, it's, it's good to go. I mean, it's, uh, you can get an annex for it for underneath here. Um, these bolts, definitely check these as well. Uh, where is it? These guys that are the, basically hold the main hinge of the folding, uh, mechanism. Um, but these, these are great. Lots of airflow. There's, uh. Trying to see what else. Yeah, the straps are good quality. Just, I would say, when you, if you get one, if you get a Smitty built rooftop tent, just go through and double check all the nuts and bolts and fasteners and all that shit. Because um, whether it's just them not finishing the work properly at the factory or shipping or whatever, um, you're gonna have some loose nuts and bolts. Um, these are the, some guy lines to tie it down in a high wind situation. Um, ladder's good. This is the shoe bag. So as you climb in, chuck your dirty, dirty ass boots in there. 
Uh, as you can see, it's pretty friggin' big in here. Um, the mattress pad, I'd say is about like, I don't know, two and a half, three inches. And uh, it's pretty shitty. So I would suggest getting another um, three inch memory foam, which I'm ordering right now. Uh, that blue strip in the back there is like an LED strip that comes with the that comes with it, so you can plug it in. It's got a USB port. It's super bright, so I actually put some uh, blue tape over it to dim it a little bit. Uh, it's got roof vents, which is very nice. Uh, it's got side pockets underneath that, so it's a solid tent. If you're looking to just get out and have fun, it's uh, it's cheap. The two-person tent you can have, you can definitely get for under like I don't know, 700 bucks. This was 800 on sale. Usually goes for nine to a thousand, but uh, definitely worth it if you just want to get out and have a lot of room to sleep with the f with your family and dogs and all that stuff. Um, that's about it. So, like I said, this is my somewhat budget M101 A3 off-road overlanding camping bug out trailer total budget was about four grand uh, rough price breakdown was 675 bucks for the trailer uh, paint and sandblasting for the whole trailer was 700 uh, wheels and tires 225 rooftop tent uh, 800 um, propane tank and mount like 140 or 150 bucks uh, custom rack was about seven or eight hundred bucks um, all the wiring and tail lights and stuff probably ran me about 40 50 bucks. I don't remember how much the ARB awning was. Maybe like 250, 300 bucks. Um, shocks, maybe 50 bucks. And just random other bullshit. Chains and paint and whatnot. So, but honestly, it's a, if you're, if you're looking for something that's a good platform, this thing is built like a brick shit house. It's it's uh, super durable. The stock axle is insane. Um, tons of clearance on the road, and then having the pintle hitch. Uh, the articulation is is awesome. You're never gonna get hung up on anything. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That is about it. All right, friends, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below, and uh, happy trails. Uh, real quick, I'll tack this on at the end. I'm just going to go through the gear that I carry. Super basic, um, but just to give you an idea of what I got in the trailer. Pardon the messy uh, garage. I am currently reorganizing everything, but uh, quick breakdown of the stuff I bring. Uh, I have a folding table. I have, uh, I usually bring some gas for my chainsaw and I have a uh, Coleman mini bike as well. Uh, water jug, we don't really use that for water though, we use it for a beverage cooler. Um, this white little shelving unit, my wife is organizing it right now, I got some TP. Um, but we're just trying to get more organized so this has obviously some uh, cleaning stuff, napkins, bags, uh, utensils, koozies, paper plates, nothing. Um, I got a wheel, wheel dock for the, the wheel on the front of it. I got a tow, tow uh, kit. This is a Smitty built tow strap. I got the uh, fire extinguisher, and I got some uh, 
you know, some uh, hooks. I got an extra trailer hitch hook. Some pins, basic shit. Um, this is a camping shitter. So uh, it's more for my wife, so she has a nice place to do her business. Uh, what else, what else? I have a uh, Arctic 65. And my dog ate the uh, the rubber hooks on the front, so I got to get some fresh ones. I'm organizing all my straps. Can never have too many straps. Uh, these are RV um, stabilizer jacks. Um, so typically, I'll throw one or two on the back underneath it, and uh, when the stabilizer jacks are on, the whole thing is rock solid and does not move. Um, that this is a uh, this is a like a camp kitchen setup. It's got shelving and then a middle part for my uh, propane stove. Oh, what else we got? This is this kind of has our some of our cooking stuff. Again, we're organizing everything again, trying to minimize and keep everything, you know, have as few containers as possible. I'm gonna start labeling everything. But this essentially has the stove, some cooking pots, bowls, and a water kettle for coffee and whatnot. Um, I have this Ryobi uh, little chainsaw, which is great for processing wood. Always uh, handy to have. Um, this I have, that's an airsoft gun. Um, what else? It's just like lighting, like he this is like lanterns, uh, headlamps. If you guys don't have one of these yet, you really need to get one. It's a uh, it's a silky big boy, which is the creepiest name for a saw ever. It's uh, it's one of the best use most useful tools I've ever owned, and uh, the thing just shreds wood like butter. So go get yourself a silky big boy. Uh, what else? Um, got the Coleman mini bike. So after I move the spare tire mount to the front, I'm going to build a mount on the back for the mini bike, and hopefully that'll kind of level off the weight. So I'll have the tire up front, mini bike in back, and then I'll front load the trailer a little more to keep the weight on the, uh, on the trailer hitch. Um, and I also have this, uh, this is a lifetime, um, I forget the name of it. Lifetime Sport Fisher. It's a uh, it's a sit on top. It's it's uh, pretty cheap. It was like four or five hundred bucks. Um, it's super fun. Really easy to uh, maneuver. Um, you know, the sit on top is way way more convenient than sitting in the down inside one. You can actually fit three people on here. We fit me and my wife and my son on here. Uh, it's snug, but. Uh, no problem there. And I think that's about it. And then I just have, this is all my like backpacking gear and shit. So I have, you know, tents, backpacks, all that stuff. I usually just bring it just in case we want to do some backpacking. Um, we, and all the, uh, the sleeping bags and stuff like that. Uh, that's it. That's all I got for all my gear. So, uh, hopefully that helped you guys out. Peace.